We're in it to win it today. Good morning, greetings, fellow Minecrafters and friends. Welcome back to the Steampunk Mod Pack by Sharky. I've been a little busy. I took just a short amount of time last night and made us a starting. It's not even a shack. It's kind of a lean to. I just wanted a place we could start storing stuff. Uh, we are across the river from the village. And I have also switched around. Buffaloes are swimming this morning. Look like they're having a good time. I have started a little farm here. Uh, just wheat and some cabbage. And pumpkins. I have to show you the pumpkins. Look. Look how gorgeous that pumpkin stem is. Is that beautiful? It's beautiful. It's like a fairy garden. I love it. Uh, I'm also growing some of the uh, stuff from Immersive Engineering. So that we can get started with some basic power at some point. We're right across the water. I haven't built a bridge yet. Uh, I have, oh, we also have bamboo growed up. And a little path to get us there. No house yet. I thought we could work on that together today. And pardon me for just a second. I need to have a little tea and clear my throat. It's um, allergy season in the mountains. Our back deck is covered in pollen this morning. So you have Winnie of the itchy eyes and sniffliness this morning. I've been, I mean, I have some flowers in chests, but I've mostly been putting the flowers I cleared out of this area over in a little pile here. So I have a couple of things I want to do today. The very first thing I want to do is get chat popped out so I can see it because I'm like that. It would be nice to say good morning, and greetings, and salutations to the folks who are here. Here we go. Now I can see. And it'd be nice to also. There we go. Excellent. Okay. Uh, oh, we also have some neighbors. So I don't know where they live. Those are goblins. And occasionally, the munchkins, see, a little goblin warrior comes over. He's a booger brain. Come here. He mad. He's like, he's only got like five health or something. And then his friends come and just hang out. Hello. And then occasionally a big guy like the size of an iron golem shows up. I think they might be coming from the structure over here and we're going to go check that out a little later. But right now I have, I'm on a mission. I need sugar cane because we need paper and I want to run out here into the water uh, because I can see a couple Oh, I did see. Yeah, yeah, there's some squid. Let's see if we can grab some ink sacks. We, wow, I'm blinded by the ink sack. Oh, we got tentacles and squid. That's cool. Did I get an ink sack? I don't know. Nero? Maybe? Possibly? Mueller? Tentacle, tentacle, squid. What I'm looking for is black dye so I can make, um, oh, I'm sorry. Am I interrupting your swimming time, Mr. Buffalo? They seem to be um, skittish rather than mean. So I'm not as worried about setting up shop right next to them. Okay, third time's a charm. See what else we get. 
Just need black dye. I can tell already I'm going to have to check JEI. Although I also may have already used all my feathers. Yeah, I'm getting squid. Let's see. Coral fans. Edible oil, wither roses, charcoal. Gives us black dye. Ink sac. See what? What? Oh, you can cry in a book of quill. Oh, giant squid. That's terrifying. And mimic octopuses. No, thank you. I don't want to see that kind of stuff in the water. That's scary. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Let's um, make a piece of charcoal then. Oh, so here's all the goodies. I've been doing a little bit of wood collecting. We have the spruce and oak growing. And of course, right before I left last night, we got a beehive. So I'm going to, um, I do have a silk touch book, I think. So we'll put some, put a campfire under that. So see, we'll need. We'll need charcoal for multiple reasons. Probably fuel as well. Let's go ahead and turn some of this into charcoal. Awesome. Ah. There we go. As soon as that cooks up. So I want to make a book and quill. So we have... Yeah, we're doing pretty good on bling. Got a little iron. I have not fully looted the village across from us. Okay, did I dream that silk touch book? Hmm, probably. Was I playing some other mod pack? Maybe. Food. Oh, I did a whole harvest of the wheat. And we have quality crops. So we have different levels of wheat quality, which is pretty cool. Let's get some bread. And growing the bamboo. I'm putting all this stuff in with trees just because I don't have room in the organics chest yet. I have begun the process of upgrading one chest. We'll turn this into an iron chest. I'm sorry an iron barrel because we have sophisticated storage. There we go. Charcoal, black dye. Nice. Okay. I do have two feathers. That's fabulous. I do not have any blank books. So let's, I'm going to call charcoal bling. Also, I got a gold nugget from something. I wonder that was okay we'll save those and save these and how could it possibly be dark already let's make um our fire campfire so our bees really Pretty sure I can make a campfire. With any. You're telling me it has to be petrified. Logs. That's what we picked up on the. Beach. Soccer log. Or jungle. And spruce. I can make it out of spruce. Why is that not working? Hold on. Let's get our spruce then. Maybe it's only happy with spruce. Spruce, charcoal, pyramid. There it is. Okay, Winnie's just having a strange day today. Okay, we don't have silk touch, so we're gonna have to leave this little guy here for a hot minute. Until we get enough honey to make 
honeycomb, pardon me, to make a new apiary for them. Maybe we'll move them over here. There's another beehive right there in that little tree. So if we take, uh, it would help to have wood in me. Nee, 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 nee. I'm trying to be conservative because I have not caved yet and gotten uh, vein mining. It's very tempting for me because I don't believe in mod packs without vein mining because who's got that kind of time? But we're going to go with it for now. It might be a little slow. Okay, let's put... Um, I don't think I'll take this down anytime soon. I think if we could get all the bees to come out at the same time, we can put them on leads. And I can put them on a fence post over by the new hive just temporarily. And their location will change. Especially if there are enough flowers around there. So, if I take a couple flowers, come on, y'all, let's go. Will you come with me? Are you stuck? Can you follow me? Both of you, please. Place in carrots. Because we have all these beautiful flowers over here. Don't you know it? Look at this. You see this bee house right here? This would be a great one for you. You're like, yeah, right, whatever. See, make a baby. Get busy with some flowers right here. Let's see if I can, s I mean, this is gonna destroy it. Oh, another bee. Crap, maybe we need to leave it. Okay, we'll leave you here. Well, yeah, okay, you can stay there. It's fine, it's fine. Hopefully these guys, uh, the baby, will relocate to this apiary. I'm sorry, beehive. They should. Well, yeah, oh, nice, that's perfect. Okay, so now these three are over here. We'll um, collect some honey. In fact, I'm going to make another campfire. Oh, and I need to, um, uh, we need to render the campfire safe. From uh, the bees. Getting their little butts burned. Oops. Cause that would be tragic. There we go. We don't want them accidentally setting themselves on fire. It is a bee habit sometimes. Don't tell them that they're not the smartest tools in the shed. And the smoke will still go up through a trapdoor, which is very cool. Somehow I've used all of my wood. Or did I put, I put it back? Nope. Winnie has not had enough hot tea this morning. Uh, you can have that flower. Let's see, we have more flowers in there. Look, shears, a little bit of food. Uh, hmm. A sword. Our spawn point. Let's go find sugar cane. Do I have my boat on me? I do. And check out this over here. See, there are more bees right here. I just want to know if this is where the goblins are coming from. Hello? Bueller? Or if this is like a totally separate thing. Seems like a totally separate thing. A 
like a little house. It's like a little fort. Nobody's home. Barrel booty. Gob steel. This is where the goblins are coming from. Repair. They have a furnace. Can I see what's in there? Pot shard. More pot shards. Pot shards and zombie flesh. Oh, a bell. That's cool. Anything else over here? Yes, another chest. Crafting table. Thanks while I loot your little fabulous place here. What do we get? Copper. Clay balls. Our first bone and our first gunpowder. Huh. You know what else I didn't bring? Um, a bed. And that's probably going to be important. Let's grab some wool. Since apparently sheep spawning in the wild is not a thing. We will also, I think we're close enough to that animal barn to relocate the animals over here. I will likely do that uh, maybe off camera. Abyss, ab, abyss court shard. Gob steel scrap. I don't know where we're going to, okay, clay, gunpowder, string, a bell is a crafted thing, bling, I don't know what a pot shard should go under, probably crafted, potentially, and let's make a bed, uh, if we do that, and that, and our wool is very precious. That's the other reason I started growing. Oh, there's all my wood. Duh, Winnie. The other reason I started growing the immersive engineering uh, stuff is that you can craft string from three of them, which is great. So now we have an endless supply of string. And let's um, dye our bed an interesting color. I love that the orange is like the color of flames and the bed has a pumpkin on it. Okay, here we go. That was a cool, such a cool little thing, little goblin hut. Let's just run over here and check out this tower. And then we'll head over the river and see if we can find some sugar cane. Or maybe some sugar cane here. I wonder if this is another zombie spawner. I would love it if it were. That would be excellent. Oh, I keep forgetting to eat. Let's um, get our foods up and run up there real fast. Oh, there's more stuff. More stuff. I think it is. I think this is another spawner. So if we go fast enough, maybe we won't have too many friends to deal with. I hear him. Are you stuck? <laughs> Sorry about your bad luck, buddy. Okay, this is great. We will um, figure out how to... Oh, excellent. I meant to take that from the other one. We will figure out uh, how to make this a little spawner take a barrel. Oh wait, that was blocking the light. Okay, that's important. Nice. Such a great little cool little tower. Uh, free leather also. Another helmet. Thank you. It's not a full set of gear. It's where we got our first gear. It was one of these towers. 
A little water, a little candle. Clean out your strings. You can never have too much string. And I don't have a flint and steel on me to light that fire, but that's okay. We'll be sure we leave. Oh yeah, the sun's going down. It's too bad there's not a sleeping bag. I'm actually going to leave this bed here because I don't want to lose my spawn. Okay, did we see any sugar cane? I don't think that's a thing. Ooh, look at that mob. What are you? That's probably a very bad idea. He's, he's like on a Segway. What even are you with our little vanilla piece of crap bow? It's like a mechanical knight. I don't know what he dropped. It looks like it was just experience, but let's go see. Oh, gunpowder. Was he a creeper? Hey, you juked that, my friend. I want my arrows back. A little bit of copper. And iron. I'm sorry, not copper. Yeah, there's copper. And what is that? Gravel. Ah. Copper. I'm in it for the copper today. Because Martial Engineering is one of the earliest. Well, that and uh, we need a little bit for Create. For sure. We're going to need to start a mine, which I haven't done yet. Is that more gravel? The gravel looks bizarre. That's glowing lichen. Huh. Gimme. Okay. Distraction. So many distractions. Let's go check out the smoke and this other tower. And we're still hunting. That might be a good first cave. I don't know. I feel safer digging down like you do. I love this biome. Pretty, a little difficult to hunt copper around in. Let's run over here. I think the torch in my face might make me crazy. Feels like it's up a little higher than it normally is. Do do do. Also, I noticed in uh, the stream yesterday that the game sounds were a little bit low. So let's do, let me do a tiny adjustment because I can feel that they're not um, ideal right now. Let's just crank them up like that much. Into the mix and see how that goes. And we'll just make sure that all that sound is still doing a thing. Yes, okay. This looks like an, almost like an apotheosis tower. Oh, enchanting tower. You need light in here, my friend. I hear you up there. It's in your sack. <laughs> Look at these. Look how beautiful. The texture pack makes defenses. It's pretty cool. Um, I hear you. Can I check your drawer? Is there any TNT under there? No. Maybe. Possibly. I'm paranoid. Nope. <gasps> Speaking of copper. 
pumpkin pie and another saddle. We'll take it. Also, sorry about your floor. Let me just uh, put that back for you. I feel rude destroying people's houses. And then here. Hello, Bertram. What's up? Oh, rotten flesh for emeralds. Redstone. Nice. Paper. And books. We can make our book and quill. I'm so excited. Where'd I get the cogwheel? I don't even know. Look, that's the, the clock block from supplementaries, which is super cute. Oh no, I'm out of room. We'll leave the bowls here. I guess we can make a furnace anytime. Um, we can make pumpkin pie. I want the bones. Oh no. Uh, let me eat the experience. Oop. Also, I don't need a shovel or a hatchet right now. Poison. I'm taking the pumpkin pie. I have slow brain this morning again. Apologies in advance. Oh, that's a warp fungus. Let's um forego leather feet. Take fungus. And now I don't have any room for the sugar cane. Really? Mm. Flint we can get from gravel anytime. Okay. Thank you, sir. We will be back to trade with you. Uh, because that is an excellent resource to have. I'm a little concerned about your lack of lighting in your base place. Although you are safe and secure up there, I'm sure. Okay. Um, there was smoke. It looks like another little goblin camp over here. And I want to make my way to the river. Because we're still on the hunt for sugarcane. As she gets distracted by a hole in the ground. Hello. Never go into a cave without a way out again. That's my Minecraft philosophy. What's yours? <laughs> Seems very important. Oh, I can't pick that up because I have stuff. Uh, okay, gunpowder is renewable. Technically. I find it very precious this early in game, but... Never know when you're going to need TNT. You know, while we're here, I'm just going to grab a couple more pieces of cobble because I cooked a bunch to turn it into stone to make a couple things. We're going to take a look at those when we go back. But it would be nice to have a whole stack of cobble on us. I realize we're probably going to dig a mine shaft this episode. Oh, look, we found copper fortuitous how are we doing on inventory spacing one six two six three sixty four that's perfect okay unless you are copper or oh there's zinc what was I saying about making sure you have a way out Let's go out here. Okay. We'll be back. With bells on, even. Oh, goblin buddy. What's up? I mean, when I say buddy, I use that term loosely. What did you drop? This goblin stuff. Um, all right. We'll do without the leather. Also, how are we on time? Let's see. It's about to get dark. Let's, 
want to spend the night with our wizard friend. Briefly. Ah! What was that? See? There's weird, scary things. Like, now there's red dots. Underneath me. Like, I don't want to know. Really? Oh, I see him. What are you, sir? Oh, God, you're very... You, ah, you suck. Nope. You're very strong. He's going to follow me. And it's nighttime. And scary. Really? No, I'm noping. I'm noping out of that so fast. Let's go take a little nap. And I come back and see if this guy's still here. <gasps> oh goodness. That was that watch that first step. It's a doozy. Whoa. Whew. My heart is pounding. Uh excuse me. I'm just gonna just sneak in here for a second. Just to yeah, reset the day timer. Thank you. Okay. Oh no, it's raining. Or is it just windy? Oh, raining. Of course. Did that guy go away? Where is he? Ooh, I almost fell in that hole again. Okay, change plan. I'm gonna go empty my pockets. <laughs> Back at base place. He's still out here somewhere. Like, what is that? Can't tell what that icon is on the map. Oh, I think that's just a buffalo. A beefalo. If I'm not mistaken, our um, shanty is this way. Yes. Near our wall of trees. Okay, the night guy with the armor? That was terrifying. He blocked my arrow. He has lots of health. Whew. Okay, but we got some good loot. Got emeralds, diamonds, a little bit of iron and copper. Glowing lichen. Coal. Fungus, which I'm going to put in mob drops for now. This gob steel scrap, I'm very interested in what that does. Got an anvil? I'm very excited about that. Let's see. Let's put it. Um, hopefully, I won't break that glass block. Craft it. Oh, we're out of crafted room. That's okay. We'll use our hoe. We have pie. Freaking in here we don't need. I mean, we could probably put all the flowers somewhere else. Potentially. Um. Did we pick up that barrel? No. Let's make another one. Uno mas barrel. The other dangerous thing about those, uh, the goblins just randomly spawn places. So I can be sitting here and there'll be a blankety blank goblin spawn. I'm just going to put that there. That's going to be flowers and seeds. How about perfect? Nice. Okay, let's make our book and quill. The reason I want to make a book and quill 
is because my brain is like a sieve and we need a to-do list. So here we go. We're just going to use the book and the black dye and one feather. Is that a thing or do I actually need an ink sack? Oh no. I think I may have had a brain fart and I actually need an ink sack. Oh, oh, wait, look, here we go. If I use create a deployer, cutting board deploying, that means I can use a cutting board with a squid. Look, we're geniuses. Okay. Have squid, have cutting board. Uh, so I need a knife. We can do that. I bet I can make a flint knife. Do I have any flint? I used it all on arrows. Uh, I'm sure I can make one though. Is there gravel in the river? Let's see. Let's go ahead and splurge and make Get rid of that. And iron shovel. And eat some bread. Oh look, our crops are growing. I just killed one. Sorry. Sorry. Nope. There we go. It's kind of right in the way. Okay, there we go. Uh, looking for, look at that, Flint, first try. What are you? You're enormous, catfish. Oh, I love this. And these pike eat fish and drop, drop them and sometimes bone meal. Hi, little goblin buddy. What's up? Okay, we got our one piece of flint to make our flint knife. Here we go. Flint knife, squid, cutting board. Yeah, look at that. Five ink sacks, six raw calamari, which I'm sure we can turn into something good like calamari rolls. With some cooked rice and dried kelp. Mm, or we can just cook it on a fire. <gasps> or put... Oh, how do we get salt? Put a water cauldron over a heat source. And you get so How cool is that? Oh, we're going we're gonna to have some fun automating. Okay, now that I have my ink sack for my book and quill... That's it. We've won the game. No, actually, a bucket lets you win the game. And I got a bucket out of a chest earlier, so that's good. Okay, book and quill. This is Winnie's to-do list. First thing we wanted to do is make a book and quill, which we did. We need sugar cane. Um, we can make salt. What else? We can make a house so we're not out here in the hinterlands and make a mine shaft. Okay. And I can use one of my precious XP points to call this Winnie's to do list. Nice. And that will live in our uh, crafted items chest. Also, something I talked about yesterday, but we didn't do yet. I talked about this ring activating something called hardcore, but it's not hardcore the way we know hardcore in regular vanilla Minecraft. It doesn't mean that you only have one death and the world gets locked. Um, this just means that I will get seven curses and seven blessings. 
So we will receive double damage. All neutral creatures will be mad at us. Our armor will be reduced by 30%. We will do 50% less damage. When I'm on fire, I will burn forever. And every death will tear my soul apart. And I'll never be able to sleep again. So. In exchange for that, we get increased experience, looting, fortune, plus 10 enchanting power, unique drops, the ring of ender, and we can create and use unique relics. So I'm not ready to sign up for that level of craziness yet, especially before we have a house. I think what we'll do is say once we have a safe place to while away the nights, um, then we will put the ring on. But until then, I'm going to put the calamari and mob drops since we're out of room. I don't think we need pebbles, but we'll save a couple just in case. There's our knife. Okay, what? I don't have, I have efficiency one, protection one. The axe we had has efficiency five and sharpness two, which made our first harvest really easy of trees. Uh, but I don't want it to break. And now that we have an anvil, I would also really like to get unbreaking. And apparently I need to take a nap because it's nighttime. I'm going with that means it's close to dark. Yeah. Okay. Since there's a zombie out here with me, it's usually a good indicator. Are you underground? You must be probably under here. Okay. Okay. That's the good that the rain stopped. Let's collect this little stack of spruce because I don't want to neglect um, resource gathering. I think one of the first, we're going to look at recipes to make sure recipes haven't been altered. But the first thing I can make is a super simple tree farm with create. I think we have enough iron on us. So that may be our main project for today. It should be very easy to do. We have a little bit of zinc. I don't know if we have enough andesite. We'll see. Um, we might have to do mine shaft first. Just to try to find some andesite. My other thought was to go look down in some of the cave holes that happen and see if we can see any. I should also probably check our quest book real quick as soon as we gather this up and replant the saplings. And let's see if we have completed anything that gives us a reward that we need. Because I think this pack uh, has a couple of nice little rewards that help you with progression. We want to make sure we don't skip over those. I love that the spruce saplings are little pine cones and the oak saplings are little acorns. That's just adorable. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do the oak real quick. It took like two minutes. Something very soothing about Minecraft collecting. I think if I were going to build on a huge scale, I would be really missing uh, vein mining of some kind. But I guess we can shoot for enchanted tools. Um, this shouldn't... I know it's taken down the whole tree. I don't think will affect our beehive over there. I think it'll be fine. And a tree can grow up right next to it. If you didn't know, if there are flowers within a three block radius of a sapling that you're trying to grow, you have some percentage, I think a 5% chance 
of growing a tree with a beehive on it. And that's where our beehive came from. Because there are flowers right here. Oh, there went our axe. Let me gather all the things up and then go make another one. I feel like the despawn timer in here is a little faster than usual, but it may just mean it may just be my odd perception. Uh, the other thing we will have to have in this world, I believe, is an iron farm. And we'll probably just make it right here off the shoreline. Hopefully keep it in render when we're in the base, but maybe not be ugly. If you've ever watched any of my series, you know that uh, making, oh, I missed one block of wood. That's feature. Making an iron farm is like, that's what I do. Oh, one more. Yes. It's hiding from me. Oh, I hear something. Is it just the fire? Making me paranoid. Oh, it's the buffalo. Or no, it's a bear. I think as long as the bears don't have babies. Are you mad? Can I feed you bread? Can I make you my friend? What if I got meat? What if I got meat? Do we have meat? Hi, Goblin Buddy. What's up? I feel like I have, like, yeah, chicken. Can I give you chicken? Or maybe a cooked pork chop? Let's go try. I don't know. What was that? Oh, acorn. Oh, hi. Would it be my friend? No? Can I give that to you? No? Are you mad? Oh! Oh, he's mad. Oh, he's mad. He's very mad. Don't be mad. Rude. Just minding my own business. You gotta eat me in the... Punch me in the teeth with your teeth. Wow, that hurt. Also, why am I so hot? What is that little... I'm very hot. That's, I'm warm? Why am I warm? Look at that 35 on my heat index. Let's go, ooh, it's getting hotter. Can I go in the water? Ah. Oh, that cooled me down for sure. Okay, see that number going down? Is it hot outside? Is it summertime? I guess we're gonna have to look at armor and clothing for weather. I'm wearing leather and iron. I mean, I get why it's hot, okay. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, maybe because I was standing next to the fire? I don't know. It's a mystery. Okay, we have to replant our um, line of trees here. Which is acorns, which is totally adorable. Here we go. Dun, dun, dun. I'm gonna put these away along with all our supplies. 
more sticks. Okay, we're doing pretty good on wood and things and stuff. Uh, nope, that's technically a food. Is there anything in here I can move? Probably that. Oh, wow, that's a me. Like that. We already have salmon. We should fish. Okay, and then a knife is a crafted item. Uh, we could probably do away with what well, we could put our book somewhere else. Uh, maybe in our iron chest here. And the torch, which I said was annoying me. <laughs> My boat. We still need sugar cane. Let's go do a little bit. Oh, it's so hot. Like, what is the, what is that thing down on the right? What is that? Um, let's look at our quest book. And see what we've accomplished. Okay, we discovered an enchanting tower. Ran a reward. Got some XP. How have we not discovered these other things? Bosses can be found in the overworld while randomly exploring. Okay. We want to make sure that's active because we have definitely run into some bosses. Uh, computer craft. Okay, I'll take the cake now. Nice. Iron spells. We got some arcane essence, which is cool. Random reward. We can get orb. Oh. Give us. What was that? I don't even know. <gasps> Andesite alloy. Perfect. It's just what we wanted. Craft an inscription table. I really want to get into this. Craft a Wandering Magician armor set. Okay. How? Oh, leather cap with ar arcane essence. Um, and then take that with an eternal Stella. That's cool. Wait, wow, it's dark. Sleepy time. Okay, let's, um, I don't even know how many arcane essence I got. I put it in mob drops. I have two. Uh, can I turn my boots? And did I save? No, I haven't picked up any tool tables despite us seeing a few. Okay, I'm going to cook our copper. And probably our zinc. And, oh, we got 20 andesite alloy. That's fantastic. Beautiful. Probably, okay, we'll, we'll do iron spells and spell books in a hot minute. Let me, I'm gonna set the cake down on the crafting table. And maybe use one of our lanterns to light up our space. Maybe use two of our lanterns. There we go. A light in the darkness. This is why I can't wait to have an iron farm. So that we can fancy up our area. Okay, things I did, the other thing I did off camera, I made one of these. This is a trading post uh, because it was one emerald and some wooden sticks. But I don't know what we're supposed to do with it. It says, can't find any available traders nearby. Okay, fair enough. There's also a trading post from Silence's Turrets. I don't really know what it does. It's just wooden. I'm not sure it does anything but look decorative. Maybe. And then I also made a sawmill from Woodworks. It was very cheap, just an iron ingot. 
and a little bit of wood and a slab. And what that lets us do, and it's hiding back here. That What that lets us do is if we put wood in there, we can make any variation of the blocks. Um, speaking of wood variations, how many, I do get four ladders per block of wood. That's great. So I actually want a ton of ladders because we're going to make a mine shaft. That's 128. Because I think we need resources more than anything. Put my tools down here. We'll put our quest book in. Well, wait, let's finish. Make sure we don't have any others to unlock. Um, uh, important, improvable skills. Book of skills. We need gold, two books, two paper and four leather. Let's make our skill book because that, I know that is important. We have two books, four leather. Um, and we want to be able to access on two paper. I knew there was something else we needed, we needed to do today. Okay. So now that we've made this, we can use XP to increase our skill levels, which is pretty cool. So we can increase mining, ladders, jumping. Um, this is melee damage. So we can counteract potentially counteract the negative effects of that ring that we're going to put on at some point. Um, also, oh, those are goblins, not zombies. That's fine. Why am I still so hot? It's so hot. Am I going to have to put a little bucket of water? Like, yep. Here's me in the water cooling down. This is my infinite water source for the farm. There was a pile of mossy cobblestone here and I turned them into their mossy stone brick variants because they look cool. So this is a thing we're going to spend. I'll have to figure out the clothing and the temperature and what mod does that and how we counteract it like do we do it with food which would be cool i know all the crops are ready and we should harvest them but we don't have anywhere to store them yet right now i probably need to make storage drawers but i'm trying to get the house done okay uh there's a discord there's news okay we have the crafter ability <gasps> Oh, that means we don't need a crafting table. Also, once you make the book, you don't have to carry the book with you, is my understanding. You just click the book and now you have access to it. So I have a built-in crafting table in my inventory now. That is amazing. That's really cool. Okay. Uh, skills and then XP bank. Oh, and you can store all of your XP. Oh, that's nice. You don't worry about losing it because I'm so worried about dying. <laughs> Hopefully you don't lose it. Okay, so if I take like five levels and then we go into the book and we look at our skills, probably one of the things we want to do first is... Increases the mining speed. I'm pretty sure we want to increase our melee damage. So level one. 
click to toggle. Strong fist is inactive, strong fist is active. That only took one. Okay, so three levels got us three levels of XP. Got us two levels of fist. So is there somewhere we can see our um stats? Oh, we do have cosmetic armor. That's cool. Oh, go away. And we do have a bobbles and charm slots. Um, okay, wow, we're getting hot again. Uh, so I type the word cool. Oh, it's food. So a sea casserole gives us 20% cooldown reduction. Ancient Codex. Poseidon's breakfast. 50% cooldown. Chart we can do um Oh no that's cooldown like the spell has a cooldown. Um cooldown reduction. Okay, well we'll have to I'll have to look into that off camera and find out how to I, probably just the time of year because I believe there are seasons. Okay, mine shaft. We want to make it as painless as possible. Let me also make sure we have plenty of light. Hopefully, don't need all that food. Just take our pork chop and bread. Don't need my boat right this second. Or my shears. Although I would like those to be in my backpack. Let's um I keep meaning to do this. Respirator, fishing rod. Okay. Ladders. Do all the things. It's about to be dark. I want our Mine shaft to be convenient for now. <laughs> so we will hop in this hole. It's, um, I know you shouldn't dig straight down, but the first few we're going to dig straight down. I would like Just fingers crossed that we don't. Immediately dive into a big cave. Okay. Now we can light stuff up and go. I did bring the respirator with me, right? Yes. Because we're going to need that. It has durability. Okay, let's just dig a quick mine shaft. This is my favorite kind. What is oh, that's andesite. Oh, yes. Jackpot. See? For a reason I wanted to dig a hole today. Although we do have those 20 andesite alloys. I think, what do we have, an hour? That should be enough for me to dig a mine shaft and set up a basic tree farm before the end of the episode because harvesting trees from scratch is for the birds, let me tell you. I mean, I'm glad I did what I did just to get us started. That's fine. But we're going to need so much andesite. Let's just um, deal with a stack. Six, one, two, three, 64 plus two plus three. That's fine. It's fine. And down we go. That's the andesite level.
Do, do, do. Granite? Another this texture pack makes that a very pretty block. Okay, how are we doing? We're definitely cooler down here than we were on the surface. Of course, um, I am now out of pickaxe. Let's go for stone pick for the moment. I hear you, zombie. What is this, diorite? Diorite actually looks great. I just put that in the wrong place. Let's go. See all the pulse pounding excitement y'all miss when I do all this stuff off camera. But I figured in a stream, we might as well like get some stuff knocked out off our to-do list. Also, we need to check what's our, what are we at 17? We have a ways to go. I don't even know if I have enough should have enough um, ladders. We want to get down to level negative 58. That's the goal because that's diamond level. We'll probably make little branches at varying levels. Like I'll probably make one at level one. That seems to be a great place. Like right as we start in the deep slate is a great place for um, things like Lappy, and gold. What is this? this is deep slate? That's cool. And always use more dirt. You may laugh, but I'm such a landscaper. There's never enough dirt, especially when I'm building. I had to tear down a hill just to get us the flat place that we have right now. Oh! Joseph, what's up? Goblin trader. Wow. Um, oh, interesting. Are you a minion? So if I give you gravel, you'll give me flint. That's really cool. Nice. It'll give me emeralds for cobblestone. You'll turn my two gold ingots into three gold or two gold raw gold into three gold ingots. That's a great deal. That's ore doubling. I wish I could trap you and keep you forever and ever. You you are in my way right now though. Yeah. We're we're going down. Oh, that must be me needing a respirator. How do we put it on? Let's see. Head slot. Okay. There we go. And it does have durability. Do we know how to make one of these? What's it going to cost us? String, paper, and charcoal. Okay, so our need for um, sugarcane just got extremely important. Would you, can I just stick you in a little, there you go. Oh, deep slate iron ore. Will you double my iron, please? Look at that. Nice. Hey, we could make an iron pick from that. Okay, I see, I see. It's all like a plan is coming together. Especially in this deep slate, because, man, that stone will take us forever. Oh, you know, I should have checked to see if... um. There was another two iron near that. Nope. 
Oh, is that from Tetra? Yes, a geode. Okay, we'll get into Tetra. That's another great way to make improved tools. Ow. It starts pretty easy. You make a wooden hammer and click it on a workbench. I haven't used Tetra in quite a while. I think probably since a, a 116 direwolf pack had it in it. Oh, deep slate gold ore. Don't go away, Yosef. I want you to... Yes, trading my gold to you is a thing. Oh, wow, that's amazing. Okay, he needs two to do the trade, but that's six gold. Thanks, buddy. Um, put the light in there because scary. I mean, considering Yosef just spawned on top of us, gave me a heart attack. My goodness. Okay, I've got 34 ladders left. We may make it. I may have to make a couple more. So this was not only to get down here and... Um, get to diamond level and get some resources, but also definitely interested in testing out this whole respirator thing. Yeah, we need paper. So we have access to leather, access to paper as soon as we get some, uh, words are hard. Let's get some sugar cane. I'm back. 18 gold. Brilliant. I wish I could name tag him and keep him there. We'll try to do that when we finish. That would be ideal to have one of him on permanent loan as you were, you know, not a prisoner, just uh, an enthusiastic uh, roommate. There's tough. How are we doing? I think that's level 48. 10 to go. We're going to make it. And knock on wood. I'm actually very glad we didn't run into a cave. Because that'll make uh, mining a lot easier. 5, 56, 7. Fifty-eight. I hear lava. So we have to be very careful down here because lava makes our temperature rise. I'm kind of just digging forward in the hopes that we grab some diamonds early. You know, like you. I can hear the lava next to us. Oh, and our temperature is going up. Oh, oh, I gotta back up. I'm too hot. <laughs> but I'm gonna go get those diamonds. Okay, here we go. I have to figure out how to deal with the heat. Ah, okay. One diamond got. Did we get it? No. Did it burn up in the lava? It may have. Poop. Okay, well, at least you know, based on your temperature, that you're about to run into bad things. I love that. Oh, digging through dark stone. As pretty as it is, it's like even worse than black stone. Yep, 
Yeah, I think we need to get some Tetra tools, which upgrade themselves over time. So they gain um, experience and speed and abilities as you use them. It's kind of a really cool, I would say inspired by Tinker's Construct. Because uh, tools are made using component parts. And then as you use them, they get upgraded. Okay, let I think it's daylight. Let's run up top. I have no idea what that strange glowing. Okay. It's going away. That must have been some bizarre mob. Little buddy, Yosef, I don't have anything to give you except cobblestone. But we're kind of set on emeralds. Do I get more growl? No. Zombie flesh for coal is pretty cool. You're, are you could just chill in here? Like, will you just stay here? I would love it if you would. I don't think you will, goblin trader. Hmm. Hmm. Going up through the caves, you can see all the critters. And then they slowly fade away as we get higher than they are. Which is good. I love that we have an andesite vein right under. <gasps> Warning trader! Bob! It's so good to see you, Bob. Where are you? He's running from me. Oh, this is awesome. We can see his trades in the trading post. Flowers, vines, purple dye. I don't know what a twiffle is. Hoglin hide. Bob, your trades are pretty sad. I'm just saying. Okay, I'm sorry, Quinn. Where's Bob? Is he on vacation? Yep. That's a yes. Okay. Look, we got some really good resources. Made out like a bandit with the gold. Um, got a lead, which we're gonna put in our backpack. In fact, we're gonna put all of our leads in a backpack and a saddle. Um Okay, and our respirator I wanna take off because it does have durability I wonder if you can repair it on the anvil we'll have to see if we can do that okay backpacks if you didn't know have a memory to them so I'm gonna set the memory slots so that if I take anything out of here uh, it'll go right back into that slot okay tree farm create I said we were going to do that. Let's cook up. We have charcoal. Let's cook up our remaining zinc. I'm going to grab the andesite alloy that we have. And what else do we have already made that's create related? Okay, I'm going to need barrels. I don't think... I can automate, take the cogwheel. I don't think I can automate the collection. Okay, so things we're gonna need. We're gonna need one water wheel, which is a shaft and some andesite, which I know we have shafts. Did I dream this? Like, I know we have them. Did I pick them up? Oh, I put them in here because I'm a genius. There they are. Okay. Ha! Uh, there's some raw iron we could trade to what's his name? This is the toolbox that we picked up. Okay, so we need one water wheel. Um, let's check our quest book real quick and make sure that the create spell uh, create line 
We got the crafting. What else can we get? These are cool. Enchantment. Oh, we can have an enchanting table on us. Magnet blacksmith, which is an anvil. Oh my God, these are great. And an auto XP. Well, we already have that. Parchment fragment, ender pearl, anvil, and an emerald. Chain of magnetism. Like some of these abilities are great. Okay. What do we do? We made our a skill book. Awesome. Can we? I just want the reward for that. It's random. Got a gold ingot. Woo. Okay. Create. Here we go. Let's get our cookie and our milk. We have andesite alloy. Um. We have a. We need to make eight cog wheels, and we'll get two sh shafts pardon me um what else copper a wrench we have a toolbox definitely gonna need some engineers goggles obtain andesite casings we make eight andesite casings we'll get more alloy so let's make our cog wheels Because I'm pretty sure that's... Nope. Um, Andesite and a shaftless cogwheel. Oh no, here we go. Shaft and... So... Me, 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 me. One, two, three, four. That's five. Six, seven, eight. Nice. Give me my extra shafts. <laughs> <coughs> I don't need water wheel yet. Okay, let's do eight casings. <coughs> Pardon me. God, sorry. Here we go. We go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we just have to strip them. And then we take our andesite alloy and go bonk, 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 bonk. Oop. That means it's dark. We're going to take a little nap and get rid of this rain. I picked it up. Yes. And what I'm going to do is just make this here for now so we can run and I can monitor it and then I will move this. Because it's very easy to move uh, the create contraption, especially the. Okay, the other thing we're going to need is a mechanical saw. So we need iron plates, an iron ingot, and an andesite casing. And I think. What we get from that? More andesite ingots. That's great. Uh, okay, if we make a mechanical press, we'll get 12 andesite alloy for doing that. So let's do that. That is a block of iron, a casing, and a shaft. Ooh, that's expansive. This is the other reason we need a iron farm. That'll be next episode for sure. Mechanical press. Okay, you do not need... Um, the word I'm looking for. You don't need a... Uh, depot to actually make a mechanical press work if you didn't know you can actually put it on top of any solid block well okay one space above a solid block and it'll bonk regardless okay we are gonna need to make uh, let's get our reward for that alloy and it wants us to make one iron sheet and we will get an iron sheet block. I'm so glad we're using the quest book. So if I chuck that down there and make a hand crank. I'm sorry we didn't pick up that one from. There it is. Uh, from that thing right at the beginning. So if I go like this. Woo, get the achievement, a bonk. 
we make our iron sheet go in and collect our iron sheet block and if we get a if we make a saw we'll get two iron ingots for that so that iron sheet block we now have 10 iron sheets which is fantastic because saws are not cheap okay we need a couple more like a so and I think I can make I think I can get away with three mechanical saws and make a little tree farm oh Bob you're really loud buddy uh, the other thing I would love to do is make a uh, the thing that lets you pass items back and forth the name completely escapes me. It's like a connector. It's not a shoot. It might be a shoot. That's trains. Oh, okay. Let's let's ponder the saw because it'll show us a tree farm. And someday, kinetic appliances. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Contraption actors. Okay. Ah, portable storage interface. That's what we need. That's, uh, I think we can do that. So, a simple one is a shoot. We can afford that. A shoot and an andesite casing. So, we need two of these. So, what we're going to do is we'll have our tree farm, we'll spin around. And we'll have it interact. So they'll talk to each other. It'll empty the wood and stuff out of the tree farm. As long as we have filter. Yeah, and you can extract the items from the contraption. And so we want to make sure... I don't think we can make brass yet. Um... It's zinc and copper, though, which we could do in an alloy kiln from Immersive Engineering. And if we can make a kiln brick. Kiln brick is sandstone and bricks. And we need eight of those. So we need four recipes. So I need eight brick and eight sandstone. Where's our clay? Oop. I got clay from things. Oh, I put it in here. Let's cook the clay up now that we have some zinc. Okay, and let's make our portable storage interface. Portable. Those. So we just need one shoot recipe. So I need to bonk one more piece of iron. And of course I took my bonker down. We'll put it over here. Because this will be used frequently. Bonk. There we go. That's mine, dude. I love that this makes four shoots and we need two portable storage interfaces and let's take a look at our book again because uh, we don't want to miss our rewards for things. Uh, uh, 
A rolling mill gives us 10 iron ingots. Rolls metals into rods and wires. I wonder if we get more output using the rolling mill. Pretty great. Automating the rolling mill. Well, yeah, we'd use a using a belt and two funnels. Okay, that's easy. Except we don't have belts yet because we need kelp. Okay, sugar cane and kelp. Very important. Okay, I have two chutes. I have portable storage interfaces. We have barrels. We have saws. Let's make more barrels. Because I'm like that. Because we're going to need them. I'm going to use them as part of the construction. Um, I think... I think we'll just use spruce planks. I also need deployers to replant trees. Uh oh, here's where we get tricky. I don't. We need sandpaper with red sand. Nope. I need polished rose quartz. Hmm. And that can be uh, rose quartz from biomes of plenty. Or we can make it with redstone and nether quartz. Hmm. Which we don't have yet. Okay, we can. Why am I so hot? I'm so hot. I'm so hot. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Oh. We'll go sit in our garden. That's crazy. Is the torch even making me hot? That's weird. It's very strange. We're cooling down, though. We're, I'm definitely going to have to figure out what mod is doing this. Making us hot. I look very unhappy. Um, I wish I could tell. Like, does our armor actually make us hotter? Oh, yeah. So I took off my helmet and my shirt. And I feel like our heat went down faster. That might just be me making stuff up. Oh, it's still really warm up here. Look at all those achievements. Okay, let's set up um, basic tree farm. I'm actually not going to build it there. I'm going to build it right here. Because it only needs to be little. Get out of our way. And as we improve it, I'd rather not have to move it. Um, the inventory is full. I don't necessarily want to get rid of all of our seeds here. We need them to further expand our garden. Am I picking up any of them? Not really. Let's put our ladders away, our cookies, the milk, and our gear. Grab all these. Okay. Because I make a tree farm in a circle. Like you do. Um, and we're going to put our water wheel. Put it down one. So lay it flat. 
take our bucket of water. Well, first we're gonna put a block of dirt in one corner. Take our bucket of water. There goes our water wheel. Do we want it to go this way? That's fine. It's fine. We just need, oh, we need a, um, a thing to stick blocks to. A chassis. And if we ponder this, there, I want a contraption actor. Mechanical bearing. Movement anchor, that's what I want. I want a... Pretty sure I just want a mechanical bearing. Yes, we're gonna stick it. On... That is a mechanical bearing. Yeah, that's exactly what we want to do. And what are those? Let's see. Linear chassis, I'm pretty sure, is the other piece. Yeah. So those are logs and andesite alloy. I think three is fine. And then a mechanical bearing yay and I think oh and glue which I know we picked up slime we need the magic stickum that lets us glue everything together okay so one iron nugget one iron sheet Um, sorry, cleaning inventory. So we need a nougat and another, oh, we have some iron to go bonk. One more iron, go bonk. Bob, you're in the way, buddy. And we're going to make glue. Where are you? There you are. Okay. Super glue. Done. Nope. Don't need to glue that. Thanks. Super glue chassis. Sure. I, that should be plenty. Plus the saws. Okay. Here we go. Mechanical bearing. Boom. Nope. There we go. Um. Always place when stopped. Only place when anger destroyed. Always place when stopped. And. Um. Why aren't you moving? feel like that's what you should do. There we go. Okay. So it's moving. You right click it to start it. Right click it to stop it. Give me. Oh. Stop, please. Nope. Gotta be with an empty hand. Here we go. Trying to pick up this dirt. Okay, we'll leave one spot so we can start it and stop it. That's good. 
I'm hoping this means it's about to be dark. Are we ready for sleepy time, Bob? Because I would really like this rain to go away. You know? You know? Okay, and then we stick... Um, I'd love another linear chastity. We have enough to make more of those. I'd love it to stick out a tiny bit more. Let's see. Can we make one more linear chassis? Perhaps. Yes, we can. Okay. Now we're going to be using oak trees because they're the friendliest. That's plenty. And I'm going to stick barrels. Oop, that's backwards. Wow. Because, okay, hold on. Barrels have to come second. I'm going to use dirt as placeholders because saws don't want to stick. There we go. <clears throat> Using barrels in the construction because the barrels will actually end up being the things that hold uh, the materials. And then... If we use wood up here, and stick a, we're going to need it this high to put the deployers on the back, but we won't have deployers yet. And we'll put a block. We have to make two portable storage interfaces. Kiss. And for now, I'm just going to stick a barrel on the back of it. So it should empty items into that barrel. And we're going to go sleep because it feels like it is actually getting dark. <gasps> Those are pillagers. I would not like to fight y'all right now. Can we... Let's take a page out of physics book. Why can't I find my flint and steel? We'll just make one. We will probably set our whole world on fire. Okay, it's nighttime. We're sleeping. <laughs> Can't believe those don't count as monsters nearby. Carry on. Okay, we have to get rid of them. Arr. Why can't I? I just want to set y'all on fire. No, I want you to burn your friend. Oh, I'm going to die. Yep. Okay. I just want you to shoot your buddy. Here, shoot your buddy. Shoot, shoot him. Shoot him. There you go. There you go. Thank you. Uh, oops. Okay. Y'all are just rude. <coughs> now we can have all the fun in the world. I just did not want that bad omen. 
from the guy with the flag. Phew. Okay. Got my pants back on. I'm a little worse for wear. It happens though. The dangers of playing Minecraft. <laughs> okay, let's go finish this. Hopefully. Ooh, let's not um, carry around a flint and steel in our... Wow, and I'm hot again. We got to figure out how to mitigate that because that's just going to be super annoying over time. Okay, we're going to go see if we can finish this before we burn up. <laughs> okay, do you go? No, because you're not glued together. Um, can we... <laughs> Gotta rebuild it. It's going the wrong way. Um, we can make the water go the other way. By moving it. This is why I haven't filled my bucket back up again. So let's grab our water and put it over there. So now this is going the other direction. And we can say linear chat. Nope. Give me that. Linear chassis. And if Winnie were smart, she would have glued this all together. So we go like this. And like that. And then we make sure we're only gluing. I don't want any air spaces. There we go. Make sure, and then we glue here to here, and there to there. So not everything should be glued together. And then if that goes to these. Okay. You're all glued together. Okay, you all spin around. That's fantastic. And we'll stop you there. And I think that means we can plant trees. If I can find my acorns. So it should be able to cut down anything in this radius plus this okay and so if i make it go and it'll have to be manual for now <clears throat> so see it's stopping to check to see if it needs to give anything to the But nothing's grown yet. Let's see if we have some bone meal. Test one. Sure idea. Don't necessarily want to use our bones. But we want to like grow a tree. And that's why I made it stick out so that it could reach. See if we can get that one. Nice. And it, did you give her its stuff to it? No. I also made it so you could ride it and grab the crap off of it. <laughs> uh. So for now, I'll have to manually put, uh, I'll have to manually put the saplings back. 
but it should grow all these saplings up and cut them down and put them in the, put the materials in the barrels. And it should drop off the stuff in the um, connector. We'll have to test that. I, it might not be fast enough. Okay, and we'll cover up the hole where the water is. And then when we put deployers on it, what I'll do is put um, blocks that can't be planted there in the center so that it doesn't accidentally plant trees that can't be harvested. So anywhere, like we may not be able to harvest that corner. Any block the saw actually can touch or cross through, pardon me, it can harvest. But like, I don't think it can get this corner. Uh, we'll see. Am I out of bone meal? Let's test. Oh my goodness. It's a sapling. Grow faster. Hmm. Okay, well, we'll let it do its thing. And there's your super clunky tree farm from Create. You could do this with like one saw and one chassis in a little bitty circle and it would grow them. I'm just impatient. Oh, there's one. Okay, should get it on the next time around. Boom. Excellent. Auto magic wood. It's not, I think I just don't have it set up so that it can put stuff in there. Um, we might need an andesite funnel. Let's make one of those because we have time. Hello, Chibi Chula. How's it going? Hi, Dan. I know I'm a day early. I'm going to start streaming Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Hi, Sup Sup. How's it going? We're doing it every morning. At least Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday. I think I'll be taking Thursdays off to do videos and things. Okay, what did I say? Uh, we need to make a little andesite funnel. Dried kelp and andesite alloy. Hmm. Are we even near ocean? I don't think so. That might be our mission next episode is to go back out to the ocean to get kelp. I can't believe I hadn't picked any up. I might do that off camera. Let's, I mean, let me just make sure I'm not crazy. No, we got bamboo, but to no kelp. Okay. So I think if I put a regular chest instead of a barrel, and in fact, if I use well, let's just make one. Let's try a chest and see if it's happier. Sometimes it doesn't like barrels. Like it's fine with barrels on contraptions, but the drop off points. Nope, it's really not happy with that. But it's collecting everything. We'll go ahead and put more saplings down because we can. And take a nap. That should, like when I come back in a couple hours, that should have collected all the wood from all those trees, which is great. So even without being able to replant, that'll save us a bunch of time. It's night game. Let me sleep. Thank you. No, I can't afford deployers that I need roads quartz chibi because i haven't been down to get redstone yet we just made our mine shaft in this episode uh but i haven't gotten any redstone yet we're working on it we got andesite though and i think we should check our quest book for more stuff oh once we do 69 plates we'll get a random loot reward that's hilarious Okay, so we've started down the create path, which I'm very excited about. Uh, what else have we done? 
Oh, it says we got stuff that we haven't collected yet. We made iron sheets. I made those. Ah, super glue, which gives us another super glue. Nice. That's good because it has durability on it and it wears out over time. Okay, so things we're going to do in the next episode. Let's grab our to-do list. So today we made, uh, we still need sugar cane. We need kelp. We need to make salt. We need to make a house. We made a mine shaft. That's good. Um, make a house. Made a mine shaft. We need to make deployers, which means going to the Nether, possibly, just to see how insane it might be. I'm a little concerned given the number of world bosses and mobs that are all over the place but at least we have a place to rest our weary head at night even though it's our little you know starter lean to like we do we've learned how to bonk iron into plates we'll do the same with copper our garden is growing very well i'll collect stuff and maybe set up i think we have storage drawers in here um maybe not i thought we had sophisticated storage we do have iron barrels, iron chests. Okay, then we're probably gonna do barrels and chests. That's fine. Don't have. Okay, all, I think there's the simple storage mod from somebody storage controller oh we do have the ability to do that yeah tom simple storage mod that's it that we should be able to basically set up a connected storage system that's really cool Connect inventories, there's wireless terminals, item filters, and tag filters. Okay, that's all things we will look at next time. Thank you all very much for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed watching this morning, please leave a like. It helps me out, especially in the streams, and I appreciate it. In the meantime, remember you are all the shiny stuff that awesome is made of. Take care, everybody, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.